fourth graders, happy Friday. I'm so excited to see all of you guys during community time today. Don't forget to come into our Zoom call at two o'clock this afternoon. Our theme for our community time today is fun snacks. So before you come onto our call, make yourself a really fun snack and you can share it with the class. I might be doing something a little bit on the lines of a Carla's sandwich type snack. So something unexpected, but still delicious. All right, let's go ahead and begin in prayer. Um, it is our last day of our theme of the week, which is suffering. Next week's theme is Holy Week. So we might be a little bit ahead of schedule. So we'll see how that goes. But let's go ahead and begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear Jesus, it's so hard to watch others suffer. Sometimes we don't know what to say, especially when we see others who are lonely, sad, or in pain. Open our hearts, Lord. Help us offer comfort with kind words and gentle actions. May we never turn our backs when someone needs us. May we ask this through you who cared for everyone you met. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, our idiom of the day is going to be throw cold water on something. So we're on to tea. Throw cold water on something. I was looking forward to my vacation until you threw cold water on it by saying the place is loaded with mosquitoes. So again, our sentence is, I was looking forward to my vacation until you threw cold water on it by saying the place is loaded with mosquitoes. So as you might have guessed, the meaning of throw water, cold water on something is to say or do something discouraging to dampen one's enthusiasm for something. So if you're super excited about something and someone else says something negative, they're kind of throwing cold water on your excitement. Here is the origin. For thousands of years, the best way to put out a fire was to douse it with water. If fire, heat, and warmth all represent enthusiasm, excitement, and passion, then cold water must stand for whatever lessens those emotions. Alrighty, last day of the week, you guys. We did it. We made it through week two of online learning. I'm really proud of you guys. Go ahead and take a look at our schedule for the day and then have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday, fourth graders. Here's our schedule for the day. So morning meeting, your attendance assignment today is to fill out the weekly survey. Please remember to do this. It really helps me know how you guys are doing and helps me make changes to our schedule so that you guys have the best week possible. After you do the weekly survey, if you're in my math class, we are taking the chapter eight test today. So attached to your assignment today is the Google Forms for your math test. In reading, please have someone at home give you a spelling test for the spelling words this week and email me a picture of your test and your score. If you have any unfinished work for the index cards for Jackie and me, please make sure that those are all completed. And then we have a building vocabulary test. So please see the Google Forms attached to this assignment for your building vocabulary test. In religion, there's a video that will help you grade your chapter five review. So please watch that and grade your papers. And then we are going to begin learning our second prayer for the year. It is the St. Francis prayer for peace. So please watch the prayer video and pray along with me. Your specialist today is art, so please see the attached art lesson. And then don't forget, we have community time today, two o'clock Zoom call. The theme is bring your favorite snack. So since a lot of us are not going to the store to get new stuff, we might have a strange assortment of food at home. I'm going to be making a snack that is inspired by Carla's Sandwich, the book we read earlier this school year. It might be a little weird, but bring your favorite snack to community time. We'll share what everyone is eating, and we will have a great time chatting with each other. Again, happy Friday. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend, and I will talk to